Hello and welcome back to Markplex and tutorial 119 and uh, this tutorial is going to be looking at app storage and what app storage does is allows us to store some information with a chart which will appear uh, which is available if the chart is refreshed or turned off and turned on again so for example in this tutorial we're going to be creating a little form where we could for example type a, a memorandum perhaps you might say something about your trading plans for example it could also be used for um, putting a drawing object on the chart and remembering where it was placed the last time so just to show you what I mean here's uh, here's a form that I've created in a program that I've already created but we will recreate it so I'm going to say here tutorial 119 demonstrates the use of app storage okay so I'm gonna press submit and you can see actually the program adds a little bit more information it adds the the, the name of the symbol and the date and the time that we're adding the message okay now that's that's all well and good but what we're going to do now I'm just going to press Control R to refresh the chart and what we'll see is that um, this form which incidentally uh, is the program makes it so that it um, takes the information in the app storage this form has got the information we typed in the form that information now reappears and the same thing will happen if I go to format analysis techniques and I'm just going to turn off this tutorial so the form is gone it's off at the moment it's going to clear the print log and I'm just going to turn it back on again and what you'll see that our message is still there okay so it's um, very simple to use app storage and what I'm going to do is just recreate this program from scratch and uh, I've got a program in my development environment called tutorial 119 and the first thing that we're going to do we're going to have this program um, do something when the program the uh, program is initialized when it is uninitialized and when the workspace is saved and to do that there are if we click on properties there are three events uh, that are associated with this analysis technique so what we can do is we can just double click on each one of them and that's going to create a method that will um, we could put in put things in that will occur on each of those occurrences the other thing that we want to uh, to create here is a form so we can do that we can just right click add form and then we need to design our form we click on the toolbox we want a text box so I'm just going to double click on that so we've got a little text box and it's going to resize it a little bit going to go to properties this little property here and we want to make this thing multi-line so I'm going to change that to true and we're going to make the height considerably greater than 20 so let's just do that and let's just size it sort of approximately what we want which is like so and we also want a submit button so we need to look here for a button double click on that position it and we can also change the properties of that if we wish for example we might wish to call it submit like so we might also want to change the background color uh, perhaps into a nice um, orange or tomato color and perhaps we might want to change the text color like so okay so there's our um, text box and button we also want to attach an event to this button because when we press the button we want it to do something so let's go to the events and we're going to we see we've got an event called click we can double click there and that's going to add some code to our main program so let's go back to the program and you'll see we've got the button click appearing there now let's start with uh, the initialized event and uh, what we're going to do 
is we're going to call our app storage memorandum. So to start with, we want to know, is there anything already stored in my app storage named memorandum? So app storage, we get it by just app storage, like so. To see its properties, we can see there we've got contains. I'm going to double click on that and put in brackets the name of the app storage, which I'm going to call memo random. So we're going to say if that is false, in other words, there is nothing, there is not a piece of app storage named memorandum at the moment. What we're going to do is add it. And we're going to do that using app storage dot add, as you might have expected. We're going to just put in to start with, we have to name the memorandum. So again, what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this just to save a little bit of time. And we're just going to put type, type your message here. Of course, you could put anything you like there. And then we're just going to end the thing with a double, sorry, with a, with a semi semicolon. Then what we're going to do two other things in the initialization, we're going to print the information in the app storage where we're going to print the get symbol name. So we know what symbol we have this applied to. And then we're going to put in some useful text, tutorial 119 initialized. And then we're going to put in what is in the app storage at the moment. So app storage, we get that by using the square brackets and the name of the particular app storage. So I've just made up the name memorandum. Uh, or rather I've decided to use that name, you could choose to use something entirely different. That's, that's your choice to string. Like so just going to verify to make sure we've not made a mistake so far. Okay. We've forgotten a bracket after that. Let me just try that again. Okay. looks like we've forgotten a bracket there as well. So now what we also want to do is put the information that we've currently got stored in the app storage into uh, our text box to update that with um, the information that's stored in the app storage. And uh, we can do that. So let's first of all, just go back to the form, uh, which we've got displayed here. I'm just going to click on that just double check the name of the, uh, the text box. And you can see here, the name is text box one. So I'm going to go text box one dot uh, text equals, and then we want it to equal whatever was in the app storage. And we're going to use the same way we did apply, um, got that in the print statement. I'm just going to end that with a semicolon. So that is when we initialize. What we're also going to do is put some information when we uninitialize, and we're just going to do something very similar. We're just going to print this information here. So I'm just going to quickly copy and paste that set. We need to just change here that to be uninitialized. And then again, we're going to do something pretty similar when we save the work workspace. So I'm going to put that information again, um, change this to workspace saved, and we're going to output the exact same information. Now, uh, as far as the button click is, is concerned, we need to do something slightly different. This is where we're going to set the uh, the app storage. So we're going to do that. We're going to say app storage memorandum like so. And we're going to start with the symbol name. So get symbol name plus let's put a space and we want to put in the date time. So we're going to use rather date time dot now dot. I think what I need to, what I'm missing here is I'm just going to um, put in an EL system namespace. Like so this is going to throw an error. I'm just going to save the program so far. Spelling mistake there. Anyway, symbol name. So date time now dot format. So notice when I added the namespace, we were able to get this sort of intelli IntelliSense or whatever it's called. So we're going to go uh, date time now format. 
and then if we click on format and say definition of datetime format we're going to see some possible ways of formatting it and uh, if we go down here to format codes just to save ourselves a little bit of time we could for example decide to use this one which is the date and the time I'm just going to copy that it's added a little bit of stuff we don't want so I'm just going to get rid of that bracket and these double brackets so single bracket there Okay, let me just check that. Then we're going to go plus, and I think what we're going to put in is a new line, like so, and then another plus, and then we're going to put in um, the information that is in the text box. And we do that text box one dot text again. Okay, I think that is good. We come back. We'll just press. We'll um, verify in a second. Then what we're also going to do is just uh, tell ourselves that the the button has been pressed. So I'm going to again put in get symbol name, which will give us some indication if we've got several charts. And tutorial 119 button pressed. And then just uh, whatever's in the app storage at the moment. So we're just going to copy this. In other words, the app storage with our particular name to string. I'm going to close the bracket and semicolon okay we need to have a plus there now the only thing that we haven't done is we've created the form and we've uh, we've done all this stuff but we haven't we don't we don't have anything that shows the uh, the form on the chart so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go once form one which is the name of the form dot show and that will show the thing on the chart so let's just verify that and see if it's doing what we expect it to. So I'm going to go format analysis techniques. I'm going to turn 1192, which was the one I originally showed you off. And I'm going to turn 119 on. So let's have a look. Okay, we've got our form. And so let's uh, type a message. You can see we've got the message here printed that the thing is initialized. So tutorial 119 demonstrates app storage. Okay, so you can see that um, it printed something and uh, it may or may not have stored it um, because uh, what we have not done, let's just go back to the program. Okay, so we want, need to add one more line here. So when we press the button, we repopulate uh, memorandum we add some information to the memorandum but we also need to add that to the uh, to the text box so I'm just gonna copy and paste this line here to the uh, the button click and I'm gonna verify that okay so you can see now we've got our message and we've got a little bit of added information added so what I'm gonna do is and this is a new message. We're going to get the uh, the symbol and the time and date added again if we uh, leave that there. So I'm going to press return. You can see now. And if I go to the chart and refresh it, you'll see that that message is still there. Now, a couple of things about uh, app storage before we, we go. Um, this is specific to this particular chart um, if we were to go to another chart and apply the same the same analysis technique with the same named app storage then that would not share information um, but this will if we go to this one and we just change the symbol to for example IBM you'll see that uh, my old message is still there but if I create a new one this is a new symbol and you'll see we get the IBM. Okay, so I think um, I think that's everything and uh, I will be making this available uh, for a nominal fee on the tutorial page at markplex.com if you're interested and uh, thank you very much.